The Incans of South America have a lot in common with your average Boy Scout. They were both of a small stature and ooh, they look good in a kerchief. But more than anything else, mmm, they loved a good knot. Were they also just tying knots or were they tying a secret history and a secret knotty code? If you happen to find yourself in Lima, Peru, you should check out the Larco Museum. Oh, what a good time. They have an excellent gift shop, but also, oh, I don't know, how about ancient texts written entirely in knots? What you might think is a bunch of headphones that have been in a pocket for a minute is actually called a kipu. Now, there are very few kipus remaining because after conquest of the continent, old Catholics decided to burn them all up, claiming the knots were devil's work. Never tie two ropes together. It is an unholy union. We're not so hot on pretzels either. However, an ancient order of monks called Mercedarians, active in 16th century Peru, sought to preserve much of the Incan culture and language, archiving many of the kipu. For a long time, historians believed kipu were just a way accountant, like a stringy travel abacus or a fuzzy calculator. The Mercedarians that still exist today claim the kipu hold as much information as a scroll. According to a book written by a 16th century monk, the kipu recounted the events of the time. When the Incas reigned, the children he had, whether he's good or bad, and sometimes whether he was hot or not. No written records exist of the Incas before that not hating conquest, so if we could decode the Kipu, we'd learn a lot about this cool little vanished people. But how do we decode them? Up in the mountain village of San Cristobal de Rapaz, they have a Kipu unlike any other you'll find in a museum, because the inhabitants of this town still use this today as a sacred object. Oh, is that a doll in there? What a cute Kipu. But unfortunately, the villagers don't know how to decode the knots either. If we want a translation, we're going to need a Rosetta Stone. Er, uh, string. Rosetta String. As it happens, inside an ancient colonial church, researchers have discovered what might be just such a kipu. Ooh, the kipu on the left, the Spanish on the right. Oh, that's a sharp looking artifact. However, is it too deteriorated to read? Well, you slap a multi-spectral scanner on that puppy, and texts written centuries ago look like they were in just last decade. It appears we have our Rosetta wood string board thing. And work is starting now to fully decipher the kipu and learn the Inca secrets. We don't have them right now, unfortunately. The Rosetta string board thing only translates the kipu into Spanish. So until there's a way to translate Spanish <laughs> into English, the Inca secrets are gonna remain a mystery for a lot of us. And now, it's time for my personal theory. If a shirt could die, isn't a kipu what its skeleton would look like? Makes sense to me. There's a bunch of dead shirts. Coach Schmoltz, you guys kill me. Get out of here, history. The video down here looks good. Oh, and this one over here, that looks like it'd be a fun time. I don't know. I'm not telling you what I think is fun. Watch another video. You're gonna love it.